thanks for staying with us. So, a video went viral hmm. that captured the moment the Code of Conduct Tribunal Chairman was almost mobbed for assaulting a security guard at Bannex Plaza in Abuja. The video obtained by Sahara reporters, Justice Umar was seen slapping the security guard and forcing him to kneel down before he was restrained by the crowd. Now, he was then forced into his vehicle by the police officers. This video went viral. I'm not sure if we can show a clip of it so Nigerians can see what we're talking about. But what are your general thoughts on this? You can call us on 081-270-53687, 091-390-76948 to share your views. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your TVC so we can read your tweet. Hmm. Ladies, I'm sure you saw that video. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, like, I'm sure like 10 people sent it to me. <laughs> I actually didn't open any until, until mm -hmm. yesterday evening, and I was equally shocked. Um, I think even recently we discussed something like this. We're trying to reference the allegations made against Chief mm -hmm. Emmanuel Kaladi, talking about how that, um, how people take advantage of their roles and positions over others. You know, um, what are your thoughts when you saw that video? Let me start with um, uh, Topway. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Our, our society is very oppressive. Um, our society naturally, we the powerful people tend to feel like they are all above the law, and. This is just a similitude of what pervades our society, where someone has a bit of influence or a bit of power, and the person lords it over everybody and commandeers everyone into obedience. And it, it's, a, it's a bit, it's sad to see it at such levels now. Like, we're, we're, we've carried our bad character mm. inside, <laughs> and now we have become important people and we're displaying our bad characters mm. outside. Mm. We've carried our dirty laundry and we've taken the dirty laundry and we're washing it mm. outside. Mm. You know, they say, if you're not well trained at home, they will train you from outside. Mm. I think that we've gone to the point where we need to start training our leaders from outside. I think that le our, our citizens should call out. We still have Eli Elisha Abu. Uh, no, Abu, Abu. Abu, that hasn't, that I feel hasn't received the right, um, the right punitive measures that would stop things like this from happening. Because we cannot have people at elms of leadership displaying mm. this level mm. of uh, yeah, inability to control are, themselves. Are we, are we fair yeah. on them? Because, I mean, this hooliganism doesn't have any... There's no, there's have, don't have status. No, but society, hooliganism, hooliganism is across board, obviously. But what we have seen now, anybody can be a hooligan. Because yeah. it, this behavior has been described Sadly. also as that behavior that is unbecoming of a leader. What are your thoughts when you saw that video? Okay, so my thoughts. When I heard Code of Conduct Bureau, yeah. I had to go and check. I'm like, I mean, for what it says, Code of Conduct Bureau, I'm like, how are you involved in something like this so openly, you know? And he said their mandate is to establish and maintain a high standard of public morality in the conduct of government business and to ensure that the actions and behavior of public officers conform to the highest standards of public morality and accountability. So in a class, you are the class monitor where you are supposed to ensure that everyone behaves themselves. Yeah, yes. And you are supposed to be the example of good behavior. And then you find yourself in a situation like this. It's really sad. I really feel bad for him. I mean, the irony is so, you know, it's fun. it would have been funny if it wasn't so sad. And as you said, Tokwe, this is just something that we do almost every day. But my other thing is that many times we blame it on the office that people hold. And I think that we need to look deeper than that. Right. It's not about the offices. It's about who we, we are. Yes. and how we behave and it starts from your from your home you have a gate man at your door you come uh, by your you gate lord him, yeah. you lord over him you're screaming at the person you're shouting at the person or a security man is at the gate to your office you're coming he's like get out of your car open the boot he barely is um civil towards you so this is something that when you now find yourself in whatever office, whatever, it looks like it's the office. It's not the office. It's just the way we have behaved so we, and what we have accepted over a long time. The good thing is, it seems that because of social media, and even particularly in this case, that people are standing up to bad behavior. Right, yeah. And they are, not, they are not bothered who you are or what you are. I have said are. this over, and, I, and I'll keep saying this phrase. 
our leaders must wake up to understand what time it is. They don't mm. get it. They mm. mm. keep forgetting. Mm. Everybody is recording. You yeah. you think everybody around you doesn't have a video. Somebody in one corner somewhere yep. is recording. Yep. Your behavior, your the the, the way the, that the behavior of our leaders is showing obviously a reflection of our people. Mm. That's how all of us are. Mm. Because many people are even those of you driving in traffic, that you cross over people without even proper um, um, the so traffic, you're flipping traffic the finger. Yeah. So you're flipping the finger. Yeah. So it's across the board. So it's easy to point fingers, mm. but we are all the no, same. We're not all the same. Many of us are the same. No, okay. we, we are not all the same, and more is expected from you when you become a leader. Mm. Because, because you are the example you we are all looking at. You so, but the, the foundation has been destroyed. So so we're not, we not all the same. No, 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 but Mariah, this same man, mm would not dare it in Dubai. He would not dare it in Dubai. He would not dare it in the UK. He wouldn't dare it in America. When your society permits rot, ah. you will continue to smell stench everywhere. Oh, so you. these things would happen because we haven't as a society mm. decided that we don't take it. Mm. We've taken it. Right, so right. that's why I said the story of Elisha Abo hasn't served as a deterrent. If right. he lost his position, he, this man will not try it. Mm. You see, you'll be so angry. You have Dangote's daughter. He points his finger into your face, but you, you know you cannot touch Dangote's it. daughter. It's Dangote's mm. daughter. That is exactly what I'm saying. Mm. Human beings must be treated as human beings, as dignifying beings. But our society has said that some people are, not, are more equal than mm. the other. And so they get to get away with whatever they're doing. Even try it in other societies. I, I, I think, thank you very much. I think you made a fantastic point because we even saw it during the um, thing that happened at the state house the, the capital yes hooliganism doesn't have color either mm -hmm. yeah. white black all races we crazy, crazy. Mm -hmm. so obviously is it's that respect of the rule of law mm -hmm. the respect fact that yes if i do it there'll be a punitive measure yes is the fact that you know that you're in a certain way it's accepted that's why you think it's okay okay so it has gone viral it will trend for a few days and, and then they move on, on. Yeah. No, and as long okay, as so if this man remains, and you know what would be honorable for me? It's for him to resign. Yeah. You are not worthy of that position because based on the fact that... our objective is to teach. Yeah. Yeah. Use every, Don't wait for them to punish you. experience as a teachable opportunity yeah. for youngsters. So they yeah. see this and say, okay, I have an opportunity to teach them that you have to behave properly in the, in the public. So yeah. you re, so sack, either sack him so you or re, cause him to pay. The honorable thing. So, so yes. for me, right, I still think it's a lot more to do about um, the way that we behave individually, much more than um, systems. Systems, yes, are meant to be there to enforce mm. and push and, you know, enforce a particular way of so living or culture. Go ahead, Mary. Okay. So for me, if he had, uh, okay, first of all, I agree, because, not just because he was a leader caught on camera, because of the office that he holds or what he represents officially, I mean, the best thing, the best conduct would be for him to resign. There's also a paper that had been put out uh, from his office, which was trying to explain mm. why he was found in that um, position. He says he actually did not go there with any police officers mm. and he did not mean to cause any um, fracas with anybody. Mm. It was just that... Um, he was talking to somebody and the person refused for him to get um, to, to park. The response did not make any sense. I mean, even the wording of that letter was, was sad, you know. <laughs> but it just shows that Nigerians were not very aware of the consequences of our actions. We're not very aware of the gravity of some of the things that we do. And I want to also use that capital that you use as an example. The reason why those people did what they did was because they had four years of someone instigating and feeding into something. Mm. So also there was a failure at the top and a failure of the yes. system. So it's important that we understand it has to do with who we are, what we teach ourselves. It's important that we teach it in schools. It's also important that we punish those who have gone ahead and right. done things like that and use them as an example. Mm -hmm. But you cannot pick one person over the other. And then, you know, you talked about how um, if a daughter of Dangote puts her hand in your face, blah, blah, blah. That is also because as a society, we put money above mm. good behavior. Yeah. You would respect somebody who has money, however they got it, whoever they are, as long as they have money, and someone who doesn't have that much money is not important. Then when we look to ourselves, one to another, and realize that it starts with us, we'll see the changes that, that we desire. Quick break. When we come back, we'll continue with this conversation. I'd like to see the tweets. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
Right, so I'm still quite disturbed about this, about this video. Once again, I'll still call for his visit, that he should resign. So I know that he probably is a very good man, a respectable man in his own way. This was a moment of something, something, whatever excuse they would come up with. He's the chairman mm. of the Code of Conduct Bureau. His position is supposed to strengthen the institution, but him remaining in that position after this behavior would water down the, the strength and the effectiveness of that institution and the right thing to do if you have posterity in mind, if you have integrity as a person, if you're thinking long term is to step out mm. of that position in I respect think, think, of that position. I think Mariam had hit the nail on the head when she kind of described exactly what their vision what and their mission to do. is supposed yeah. to be of that, of that organization. Um, but I worry about their response and I, and I worry that the, their response was trying to play an ethnic card which I think is totally unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And Nigerians, I think we've grown past this level mm -hmm. where government officials begin to throw religion, mm -hmm. ethnicity mm -hmm. in our faces. Sentiment. When you goof, yeah. own your goof. Mm -hmm. Don't throw in ethnicity. We've yeah. passed that level. You see, there was a time you can do that. Yeah. People get crazy. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're in a different We're season. Police, and we are smarter than this. <laughs> Not anyway. Amongst yourself, play ethnic. That's your business. Mm -hmm. When it comes to things like this, don't you, you dare throw the ethnic card. Don't we'll you dare throw the religious card. We'll because we know better. Your behavior was clear mm -hmm. in the video. Mm -hmm. And what the right thing for you to do is either step aside, get somebody else to do the job, because you do not deserve yeah. to be the chairman of a code of conduct bureau who is supposed to ensure and chaperone the behavior of Nigerian citizens, public officers. It's wrong. <laughs> so I think um, I'd like to take them to it and open our phone lines. You can call us on 0812705-3687 and 0913907698. Tweet to us also at, tweet, at um, your view and let us hear your tweets. Do you have any um, tweets? <laughs> Ricky Smoreni yeah, says, yeah. I saw this video yesterday on Twitter and I was appalled. I didn't understand the context until you clarified it now. All I said was that I wanted to unsee what I saw. Power <laughs> corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely these abuse of power privileges need to be stopped um reverend says mr Dalady displayed mr Dalady's display at a plaza is condemnable and the highest order of executive rascality even the press release from his office is more provocative yes god D god D. victor says the chairman should tender an unreserved apology to the assaulted security officer and damages paid to him, after which he should be asked to resign that position. He is not a good example. Festus I mean, Akimboyewa says, basically, Enlad Umar committed a criminal offense of assault in broad daylight and expect human rights lawyers to take up the matter. I mean, Let me take this call from the UK. Are they, are you there? Just get good morning, Moraya. Good morning. Thanks others. for calling your live. Go ahead, please. Yes. Yes. First of all, they explain to us why you are three. You normally have you are four. So we need to know that. Uh, secondly, mm. on this issue of the Dan Laji Umar, mm. it's a disgrace to not only to Nigeria, but to the justice itself. And uh, because this man has too much money, that is why the money is pushing him like this. There are, there are many allegations against this man. Years back, he have left the office. But look at what is happening now. This is a disgrace. He should go immediately. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ali. Yes, you're going to take a few more tweets. We're going to wrap up on this. Okay. But I think, yes, go ahead. Okay, yeah. Andrew Stratham says, I have watched the video and I could say that Fela mentioned this many years ago called Power Show. And really, everyone is just coming for him. Like, you know, he has be behaved disgracefully and he should, really, the first thing you should do um, is to tender an apology for that. A video that we watch and also for that response and yeah. also whoever it is that wrote that response should definitely leave that office and never have to work in government place Mariam, again until he's gotten the proper education to you know to work in a government establishment Mariam, i think <laughs> i think this is an opportunity for us to remind our leaders when you see youth go out on instas uh, hashtag instas mm -hmm. to protest and you come out and they say, and they gave you a five point agenda. Mm. And you say, I have done five now. Come on, see, you try to meet them halfway. And they don't believe you. Mm. 
Mm. You don't trust you. Why? Because of things like this. Mm. Because you have you have fallen in their hand, let me use it in the Nigeria yes. Palace, on so many occasions. Mm -hmm. So when you say, youth, listen to us. Actually, I just to mention it at the Colocum, that you should, you, they should, young people should listen to us. It's difficult to listen to? You? because we don't trust your behavior. Mm -hmm. We don't trust what you do. You can't tell a young person that I want to give you good governance mm. and they listen to you because it's when like you don't even it. demonstrate in any shape yes. or fashion mm -hmm. that you, you know what you're doing. Nigerians in your first term that you, you stand against trips abroad medical and tourism. then medical tourism and then we see you do it exactly. you cannot tell nigerians that you are giving the um, security chiefs red card they didn't do anything then the day you are not traveling you don't say you are reading riot acts to the same people that have been there since yeah. so like we, you are saying a but you are doing b we don't look at we don't listen to what you say because we are being taught by what you're doing exactly. and what you're doing is showing us clearly you don't you let don't me take this call from cecilia us. cecilia has been holding are you there cecilia you're live Cecilia, you're live. Go ahead, please. Talk to me, not the television, please. Hello? Yes, you're live. Go ahead, Cecilia. Yeah, good morning, my sisters. Yes. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Okay, I'm a first caller, calling from Abuja. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. My sisters, you people are doing a very good job. Thank you, madam. You know, one thing I see to all this issue is that, is that we need to take action. I'm going to have to disconnect the call because you're listening to the TV, mm -hmm. so it's, it's a bit delayed. Yes, we're going to take a few. Yeah, go ahead, Maria. Yeah, let me take this tweet. Uh, it's Bill Kitts again, and she says, are there consequences to impunity committed by people in power in the country? Does any public office holder get prosecuted when they so shamelessly display abuse of power in the society? We can't keep condoning such bad behavior from so-called leaders. So that is the problem um, what we have in our country. And the fear is that we do not want jungle justice. We do not want a mob the way it happened to him. Mm -hmm. If he knew already that he would be prosecuted or he would be punished for bad behavior, he would not do it. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if the people believed or trusted that the system would catch up with people who misbehave, they wouldn't need to mob him. You know, so when, one, when the system fails, you, you raise a group of people that in the end, it affects all of us and yes. it destroys all of us. So we need to be careful. People need to see that those who have committed a crime are brought to justice. That's the same way with bandits and kidnappers yes. and all the ills that are going on in our society. It just seems that people can commit all sorts of atrocities in our country and get away with it because maybe someone will make a call or someone knows somebody. Right. Nobody, nobody really gets punished for bad behavior. Demola, are you there? Thanks for calling. Oh, yeah, I'm there. You're live. Go Thank ahead, you. please. Oh, okay, yeah. My contribution to what you are discussing. Good morning, ladies. Morning. Um, I think uh, our so-called, uh, as we call them, elites, whatever you call them, uh, I think they bully. They always bully wherever they are. Uh, when you say somebody is bullying, you mean when somebody is infringed in your right, because that guy has got a right. You can't just go, that's what you call assault here. And if you are going to be charged, you charge for both the grievance, both in hour. Because the man is helpless. He cannot defend himself. You got security around you and you use your position to oppress him. That is equivalent to just dismiss her automatically. Mm. And I will try to employ okay. We have to wrap on this, um, unfortunately, but I think we're all in agreement on exactly uh, his behavior and we demand an apology mm -hmm. and uh, we have to run right now. But I'm told that we have one more call. Hello, good morning, are you there? Okay, the Lord, we lost the call. So let me go on a break. When we come back, we'll bring in our special guest to discuss this issue of ranching. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>